A perfect loop is a loop in which the first frame looks like it follows the last frame. Which at a very low level just means that all you have to do is make a keyframe at frame 1 and then again one frame after the animation is supposed to end. Then you only need to do silly stuff in between and it automatically is technically seamless. Which doesn't mean that it looks good yet. So here are some things which may look good. Spinning. This is the simplest form. Just keyframe the rotation at the start and keyframe in a 360 degree rotation at the end. Remember to change the interpolation to linear or else it will speed up weirdly. This probably wasn't too interesting so far. So as a bonus you can drag down these fields to select all of them and to make it spin 5 times you can just type in 360 times 5 and it will automatically calculate it. Busier circles. Making stuff go in circles is kind of tricky with just location keyframes, so just don't do it. Add an actual circle instead, parent your object to it and let it follow the path. Remember to match the path animation duration to your sequence length. Also, this still works even if you deform the circle. Shepherding, which I don't think is a real term but uh, I am using it anyway. If you'd rather have your things move in more of a straight line and not have it return to the starting position, you can instead keyframe the start and end location and then add clones, which pick up where your first animation ends. Make sure that all your clones move the same distance in the same time or else there will be a sudden change in speed. This is particularly useful for semi-random things like the turbulence force field. Just have the first field's strength fade in from zero and the second field fade out from whatever your max value is. This way, at the beginning and the end of your sequence, the force field setting in the middle will be present. It also works for the ocean modifier as well, though you will need to set the second modifier to displace. It even works for music, where it's called a shepherd tone, which is what you are currently hearing in the background, and also is why I called the section this way. Loop modifier. If you want to loop a thing inside a sequence, which goes on for longer, you can go to the graph editor and add a cycles modifier. Having multiple loops at different length going on at the same time further can disguise the loopy nature of your animation. Alright, that's all of what I know right now. Um, I only started using Blender like kinda recently, so if you've got something which works better, then please do share it in the comments.